Instagram, hello Twitter. Today we are live with one of our very own Phil Hansen. Thank cool. you so much for joining us. Yeah, happy to be here. Um, so we worked with Phil for a couple years now, so we're pretty familiar with his unique backstory. But for those of you who aren't, now's your chance. He's decided to participate in our Eagles Talent Elevator Pitch, where basically he's going to tell us a little bit about who he is and what he's all about in a couple minutes. So, Phil, let's pretend the elevator door shut and take it away. Yeah, so the short version, of course, my, my personal story is that I was an artist for many years. I loved pointillism. I loved doing that kind of dot art. And, but then I got so focused on it that I ended up actually damaging the nerves in my arm. I developed a tremor in my hand. So I dropped out of art school. I left art for a long time and eventually was diagnosed with permanent nerve damage. So now I have a tremor for everything. Drinking coffee, I always look a little bit nervous when I'm drinking coffee. But then from there, the doctor, when I was in the office with him, he told me to embrace the shake. And that was really kind of this, this phrase that kind of absorbed into my life and I not only embraced the shake and started to make art with scribbles and all kinds of other things, but started to experiment with limitations and wondered if limitations, not just this one limitation that I could get creative with it, but could I actually use limitations to push me even more creatively. Right. So then I went on this big creative journey trying to kind of limit myself in all kinds of ways. And then that led to tons of art, tons of exploration, which then also led me to giving a TED talk. Mm -hmm. And then I've been on this really this big personal journey since TED, trying to understand why is it that Sometimes we struggle with limitations, but other times you overcome them much more easily. Right. So really that big personal journey is something that I, I share, I dig into, and kind of the, the lessons learned and kind of the, the secrets that have been revealed in a way. I think that's a really important uh, takeaway message that you leave for audiences as well. I yeah, that. absolutely. Yeah. Not, not just that, you know, that the limitations that we face, there's there's different components to them. There's right. within the challenge, there's the, the limitation is the thing that we always talk about, but then it's really our perspective that we bring into it, as I call our self-limiting belief. Mm -hmm that it's the belief tied with the limitation that actually creates the challenge. And so if we can work on our belief, that's how most people actually transform limitations that they face, okay. is they transform the way they see it, and then the limitation just disappears. I also see that you have a little uh, art. A little something here, yeah. Something so, here. so let me unfurl that. this. So recently, um, well, this picture was created over the last the last couple years, but ultimately this was crowned as, and you can't tell without getting too close, but this was crowned as the world's largest connect the dots. Now the original is nine feet tall, nine feet wide, absolutely massive. This is just a, f a four foot, a huge poster, but a four foot poster. You almost need a magnifying glass to get in there and see the dots. And there's 52,901 dots, all hands dotted, all hands numbered, took 300 plus hours, just an absolutely exhausting of task and, and it was one of those interesting situations where I was thinking about of course limitations driving creativity right. and one of the limitations that we all have with creativity is time it just takes too much time yeah, and so here yeah it's wow. absolutely nuts and just even having to write that big of a number like 50,000 as yeah. a number was too big so I had to actually create a key so yeah so there's symbols followed by numbers. So you have to actually follow through a whole symboled system to be able to create the image. And this was an exploration of, of, of time as a limitation. And I did two different artworks. This one, of course, embracing time, spending as much time as possible. And then I did another one just using as little time as possible. Right. Maybe we'll talk about that next time. Yes, so, I yeah. love that. And who is this again? <laughs> uh, this is a Native American. His name is Big Head. And this okay. was photographed in uh, late 18, early 1900s uh, by Edward Curtis. And it's a recreation of that photograph. And wow. there's actually more uh, recently the TED blog posted about this piece. So if you want to read more about the piece, you can jump over to there. I'm sure we'll provide the link. And I have a couple extras if you're interested you can I would love one. I think it might be fun if we maybe gave it away to someone out there. Ooh, that's a good idea. If anyone is interested, be sure to put it in the comments. Say a little something about you being interested to be considered for the giveaway. If you um, have 18 hours free, <laughs> this is for you. <laughs> it's just a cool wall piece, too, to say Very what cool. it is. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Um, well, Phil, I want to say thank you so much for coming on this quick elevator trip with us. Yeah. And uh, for more impressive facts on Phil, be sure to visit our site. And Phil, thank you again. Yeah, thanks. Have a good one. Thank you.